For this tutorial, we will go over how to use the custom crop tool. You may want to use a custom crop if you want to crop an icon or image in a precise way that cannot be achieved using the circle or rectangle crop. On the canvas, I have an apoptotic cancer cell icon, and it has a lot of blebs or these apoptotic bodies coming off of the cell. Let's say I want to remove a few of these blebs. To do this, I'm going to select the icon I want to crop and navigate to my toolbar up top and select the crop tool. You can see multiple options for the crop, such as circle crop and rectangle crop. However, I'm going with custom crop, and you can see that the crop shape appears on the icon I had selected. I can drag the blue nodes to customize the shape of the crop exactly how I want it. The crop shape is indicated by the dashed or dotted line around the icon. You can drag the blue nodes to adjust where that dotted line appears. I can also select and drag the white nodes. This will create additional nodes for me to customize the crop shape. If there are too many blue nodes, I can remove them by right-clicking the node I want to remove and selecting Delete Node. And that's how you can use the custom crop tool in BioRender. Thanks for watching.